Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm Ron Nicoletti. Another sparkling Thursday afternoon with 10 races to look at. Let's get right to those track and weather conditions and then turn it over to track announcer Pete Aiello. at Gulfstream. From the center, Djibouti Kaba begins well up on the inside. It's Tawa moving to take second. Far outside, Zodiac Princess put into play early. Get rewarded is away in early fourth. Down at the rail goes V Tommy, and three deep is the big favorite Queen's Embrace. She's in the pink colors, about four lengths behind. Second last is Charge Account. It's a gap of three to the trailer, Just saying. They charge into the first turn, chasing Djibouti Kaba, who has the lead and the rail, and leads by a length and a half. On the outside, Zodiac Princess is there second. Tawa's at the rail in third. Followed fourth by Queen's Embrace just to her inside and get rewarded. A length and a half to Vitami, then charge a count on hold about five lengths off the leader and two back to Just Saiyan. They straighten out for the run down the backstretch. And with the advantage, it's Djibouti Kaba in front by a neck. On the outside, Zodiac Princess keeps her honest while second. Luis Saez has the favorite Queen's Embrace. Up on the outside, three wide while third. Get Rewarded is in tight while racing in between runners, and Tawa is at the rail. Then back to Charge Account. She moved up inside of Vitami, and the trailer is still just saying. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. The opening half mile was 48-3. and three. Djibouti Kaba in a bid to make all. She leads the race three parts of a length. Three wide. Queen's Embrace tries to get around Zodiac Princess. Tawa is at the rail. Held up in traffic as Get Rewarded. Charge account begins to pick off rivals while weaving through traffic as they turn for home. Djibouti Kaba still loose and still the target. Down the center, Queen's Embrace tries to get to her, then charge account and Get Rewarded is charging hard on the outside. The favorite is up for the lead. Queen's Embrace. She'll have to hold off, get rewarded, and she's doing just that. It will be Queen's Embrace to deliver on the odds on promise and win a length and a half. Second was get rewarded, third was charge account, and Djibouti Kaba finished fourth in 141 and three. center midnight whiskey gets the first call moving up on his outside ranger up widest of all mighty fast looking to work over prospect project holds down the rail and races into fourth up on the outside duchess was an early fifth and it's excalibur and warrant officer and the early trailer is power they race around the first turn, and on the inside, Midnight Whiskey leads by half a length. Up on the outside, Mighty Fast is there second. These two going aggressively. They've opened three lengths on Ranger Up, who's sitting a chilly third. Prospect Project is fourth, followed in the blue colors by Duchess Wa. Next at the rail goes Excalibur. Race favorite Warrant Officer is racing a bit wide on the course while second last, and he's two and a half better than Power, who's last of the eight through the opening quarter of 23 and three. Down the backstretch they go. Midnight Whiskey and Angel Arroyo in front by a neck. Up on the outside, Mighty Fast keeps him honest while second. Ranger Up has traveled well to this stage. He's three wide while third. Prospect Project is at the rail in fourth. Two better than Excalibur. Duchess Wall's on his outside. Warrant Officer is losing ground. He's hard ridden, not responding, and he's dropped to last. Pass by Power. Around the far turn they go, separated by six lengths in the run to the first finish line. It's Midnight Whiskey by a neck, running on from the back. Power circling horses on the inside. He's going to try to ride the rail here. He's got through up into fourth now as Power, but now he has to tap on the brakes. With the advantage now, Ranger up. Panici sends him on with the task, and Excalibur moves to him. Midnight Whiskey battling on. Power's going to try to get through as dropping back is mighty fast, and there's a quarter of a mile left to go. Nice move there from Hector Berrios as Power got through. He's between horses and he's on the attack now. Less than an eighth of a mile to go on the inside. Midnight Whiskey fights to hold it. Power is right alongside down the center in Excalibur. Power has made the fret. Excalibur lunging at him, but Power gets the job done. He goes last to first to win under a nice ride. Up second was Excalibur, then Midnight Whiskey and Ranger up.
simply super. He's polished us off an outstanding campaign with a dominant victory in the Malibu. No medication, no problem. Run happy standing at Claiborne Farm. the center. Omnia was well served at the start, but there goes Camellia Gal. She's offensive minded and she'll cross over. Camellia Gal to the top. Down at the rail, our little jewel holds ground while second and up on the outside goes Giggle Factory. In between horses, that's Omnia tapping on the brakes there and shuffled back a touch. Wet stripping. Valletta moves up in the blue on her outside and the trailer is Wicked Mercury. Fighting the rating badly down inside was our little jewel. Johnny V had to tap on the brakes as the leader is Camellia Gal by a length. Giggle Factory is there second. Down at the rail goes our little jewel and in between horses and Omnia. Up to the outside, that's Valletta who's now fifth. Stripping is sixth and the trailer is still Wicked Mercury. A field of separa seven separated by six as they head five furlongs from home. The opening quarter was 24 and one and the leader is Camellia Gal by a length and a half. Giggle Factory is second. Our little jewel is keen to go third at the inside. And it's Omnia spun out a bit deep as Valletta, a length and a half to stripping. And Wicked Mercury begins to creep a bit closer. Last of all, all in with the chance here. Three and a half furlongs left to run. Into the far turn they go with the advantage. Camellia Gal, three parts of a length toward the outside. Valletta hitting high gear now and up to challenge from second. Back to third, Giggle Factory trying to wind it up as stripping while wide, trying to kick on from between horses. That's Wicked Mercury as they run around the far a turn. Camellia Gal in front, but Valletta moves to her on the outside. Back to third is Giggle Factory. Wicked Mercury hunts racing room and comes on next with less than a quarter of a mile to go. Here's Valletta powering up on the outside of Camellia Gal, who's very game and kicking back. Final eighth of a mile, Valletta on the outside, powering to the front. Camellia Gal is second. She's game and defeat, but defeated she is by Valletta. Second is Camellia Gal. Third was Wicked Mercury. Then our little jewel in the Giggle Factory in 141 flat. for Shakem from up between horses. Liesel's going to run with her. Moving up on their outside, Baby Lion won't be far away. Driving through at the rail, Face a Bluebird. The two at the back, Catch a Can and Metaphora. Out of the chute, onto the main course. Baby Lion's out in the center. Shakem is at the rail. Catch a Can now strides into a joint third as Face a Bluebird splits horses. Back second last is Liesel and Metaphora improves at her inside as they complete an opening quarter. The opening quarter in 24 seconds flat. The leader is Shakem and leads by two now, stretching it out of touch from Baby Lion, who races in second. Face the Bluebird is now third. Metaphor is there fourth, a length better than Ketchikan, who's asked to quicken up a bit by Arroyo, and Liesel is at the inside trying to split horses, in fact, is Liesel, and she does secure racing room in the three path and moves up into third. Half a mile from home, the opening half mile, posted in 47 seconds flat. Luis Ayas lets Shakem do her thing in the second quarter, and she leads by a length. Baby Lion, the nearest pursuer, second. These two have five on Liesel, who's attacking on third. Three back to Ketchikan, who's a driven fourth, then Metaphora and Faith's a bluebird. Past the 5 16 Shakem has the lead. Baby Lion and Victor LeBron starting to gain ground on her a bit at a big price. Four back to Liesel, then catch a can and metaphor with a quarter of a mile left to go. Three quarters, 1 11 and 3. They turn for home. Shakem has the lead. Baby Lion tries to get to her on the outside. Liesel with too much to do and an eighth of a mile left to run. It's Shakem in front. Baby Lion takes another run on the outside. Shakem leads a length and a half. Baby Lion is game, but she's second best as Shakem continues to find on the top end. Shakem wins. Another one for Louis Saez. Second baby lion. Third was Liesel. Then Metaphora and Ketchikan.
Good start for Gear Jockey. Alongside him, High Def is moving out. Core Conviction not far away. And Voodoo Zip moving up. Rochambeau on the far outside is trying to get over. Down at the inside goes Caveat Emptor. Just racing on his inside is King Angelo, who's a, in a bit tight while trying to secure his spot. Out the back early are Mighty Tough and Wide. At the back of the field is Carmichael, four wide. And about six lengths off the lead of Voodoo Zip. Voodoo Zip and Tyler Geffleon work over to the rail and lead a length and a quarter. Tugging second is Gear Jockey with high def keeping him boxed in. On from fourth and Rochambeau, then core conviction. Out three wide in the course goes Carmichael. Back from between horses and mighty tough. Now at the back are Caveat Emptor and King Angelo. The opening quarter was 23 and three. There's five furlongs left to race. Voodoo Zip has the lead by a length and a half. High def is second, Gear Jockey is third. Rochambeau follows along in the two path, fourth, fifth at the rail and core conviction. Backs to six goes Carmichael, seventh is Mighty Tough, eighth at the rail and King Angelo, and Caveat Emptor is ninth and last as they swing around the far turn. 47 and four for the opening half mile. Voodoo Zip, he still has the lead. Gear Jockey needs out. Moving up on the outside, Rochambeau. High def is not keeping pace with these top horses. Carmichael gets started, so does core conviction. From the back, here's Caveat Emptor, and they're at the top of the stretch. Three quarters, 111 flat. Gear Jockey has secured a position between horses, and he's closing ground at Voodoo Zip, who fights to hold it. Rochambeau on the outside is right with them. It's now Gear Jockey who hits the front late. Gear Jockey for the lead. Gear Jockey for the win. Gear Jockey's in front. Rochambeau second. Voodoo Zip was third. And fourth was Core Conviction in 134. And one. and level beginning. Soon after the start, it was Rocking the Boat who went hunting an advantage up on the outside. Palace Coup going to accompany him in the early stages. Splitting horses, turn on the magic won't be far away. Ridden while second last is Sky Scanner and the early trailer is the stretch runner, Gran Omero. They exit the chute and link up with the main course. Junior Alvarado and Palace Coup on top but unable to secure the rail. He's out in the three lane from Turn on the Magic in second and Rocking the Boat is at the rail third. He's holding inside ground and he's all the way up into second. From fourth in Sky Scanner and a bit closer at the back is Gran Omero. 23 and one for a pretty strong opening quarter. Alvarado lets out a notch on Palace Coup. Now he has the inside position and he leads a length and a half. Turn on the magic is second, rocking the boat backed off after a mid-race move, he's now third. Back to fourth goes Sky Scanner and two back to Gran Omero. 45 and four for the opening half mile. Palace Coup trying to run them off their feet early. He leads at the three furlong point by a length and a quarter. Chirped along second is turned on the magic, rocking the boat. The heavy favorite looks like he's got some run, but he's got no place to go yet. Patiently handled third at the rail. Running on from fourth in Gran Omero and Sky Scanner is last, and Palace Coup is still first. Three quarters, 110 and one, they're at the top of the stretch. Palace Coup has the lead, racetrack fed to rocking the boat, who has two lengths to make up and an eighth of a mile to do it. Palace Coup has 
has a kick and he's still in front. Second is Rocking the Boat. He's starting to gain some ground, but time is running out and Palace Coup is still in front. Rocking the Boat can't get him. Junior Alvarado for Samson Farm. Palace Coup all the way. Rocking the Boat was second. They pulled well clear of Turn on the Magic who finished third. Grant O'Mara was fourth and then Sky Scanner in 135 and two. From the center, Coffee Buzz Buzz wins the start with Polish Gem moving up on her outside. Sweet Pearl's trying to angle over, and so too is Terry's Dream in the run to the first turn. The big favorite has dropped over nicely. I get it, is down at the rail for Miguel Vasquez in a contending spot about two and a half lengths behind. Racing on her back is Viking Queen, and it's a length and a half to Viburnum, and the early trailer is Hadley. And the run around the first turn, Coffee Buzz Buzz is clear for Edgar Zayas. Leads a length and a quarter over Polish Gem, who races from second. Sweet Pearl on the outside, third, I get it, is at the rail in fourth. Back to fifth goes Terry's Dream, then it's Viking Queen. By Burnham is still toward the back of the field alongside Hadley with five furlongs left to race. The opening quarter was 23 and four as they head to the half mile point. Coffee Buzz Buzz has the lead by a length. Racing second is Polished Gem, Sweet Pearl on the outside third. Good trip to this stage for I get it. Fourth at the rail, she'll need a way out. From fifth in Terry's Dream, then Viking Queen and Viburnum, who's three wide at the back. Hadley has been last throughout as they round the far turn. Five sixteenths away, Coffee Buzz Buzz has the lead. Vasquez trying to figure out where he can go with I get it. He has to tap on the brakes here. I get it looks for some place to go on the heels of the leader. Up on the outside, Viburnum circling horses on the far outside with a quarter of a mile left to go. I get it's loose now, and here comes I get it after Coffee Buzz Buzz with less than a quarter of a mile to run. I get it, striding forward, and she's up for the lead now. Back to second is Coffee Buzz Buzz down the center, a late run from Hadley, then Vi Burnham, but in deep stretch, the favorite's a winner. I get it, got it. She won by two and a half. Coffee Buzz Buzz in a photo for second. Very close indeed with Vi Burnham charging hard in 134 and four. Between horses, Pandoric was away well, so too Pretty Liddy. And from between horses, here's Louis Santa Princess. But Kirby is now moving up quickest of all. Kirby with a neck in front. Fearless Ideas moves to her on the inside, and they square off a length better than a third running Louis Santa Princess. Pretty Liddy on the outside is fourth, a length and a half to Texas Reward, who's down inside fifth. Miss Italy retreats to be an early sixth, and after a good break, Pandorica finds herself last of the seven with less than five furlongs to race. From the rail, Fearless Idea now takes charge to lead Kirby three parts of a length. Luis Anna Princess is together with Texas Reward, who's down at the inside. A length and a half better than Pretty Liddy, who's back to fifth. Three back to Miss Italy and two more to Pandorica. That's the seven of them through a 22-4 and four opening quarter. There's three furlongs left to run. Fearless Ideas try to stretch him out now and leads by a length and a half. Kirby is all in. Pass now by Texas Reward, who moves up on the outside. On from third, Luis Santa Princess. Miss Italy begins to hunt for racing room. She's five lengths off the lead with a quarter of a mile left to go. And Miss Italy really catching the eye. She's coming under a full head of steam and trying to muscle into the clear at trying to get to Fearless Ideas. Here's Miss Italy down the stand side. She's charging hard, and she's up for the lead now. Texas Reward from between horses at the rail and Fearless Idea with less than an eighth of a mile to go. And this was a sharp move around the turn from Miss Italy. Junior Alvarado will win it for trainer Antonio Sato. Miss Italy going away and geared down. Texas Reward was second. Fearless Ideas ran third. Then Luis had a princess and pretty Liddy. Time for the race a minute 26 and 37 100 seconds.
in the two path. Ground on her inside. the center honorable gets the first call down at the rail halcyon digest is moving with him full money comes away in the top flight he's third chow is fourth past the wire the first time saving ground and yes this time and it's a length and a half back to zippy baby with richie's got game park three wide mira mission is toward the rail and a gap of three to god's blessing who's last of the lot as they charge around the first turn Halcyon Digest with rail position and the lead leads honorable by a length and a half. Yes, this time is third at the inside, followed fourth by Fulmini. Out three wide while galloping along fifth, that's Chow. Then down at the inside goes Mira Mission, a length and a half better than Zippy Baby. Richie's Got Game is next and lingering at the back of the field is God's Blessing. The opening quarter was 23 and 3. Five furlongs left to race, and Halcyon Digest leads three parts of a length. Honorable on the outside is second. A gap of two and a half to Fulmini, who's between runners. Chow is three wide. Yes, this time is at the rail. Mira Mission still ridden quietly by Alvarado, about six lengths off the pace setter, followed by Zippy Baby. Then the race favorite, Richie's Gut Game, who's still second last, and a long way to God's blessing. Opening half mile, 47 and three as they round the far turn. Up front, Honorable has now made a move and takes the lead by a length and a half. Running home from the back, here's the run coming from Chow, looking for room as Fulmini, and Mira Mission is loose now. Mira Mission charging into the clear and coming after Honorable. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Mira Mission striding up on the outside to take the lead. Honorable could not hold him off. Richie's got game is third while in tight down the center. Zippy baby, but it's Mira Mission in front by two in the end. Very close for second. Zippy Baby's in a picture with Honorable. Then, yes, this time, and Richie's got game. And 134 and two. Away. From between horses, Bee Catcher wins the break, moving up on the outside. Palace Kitten ridden hard to try to get over from the high draw. In between horses, Hard Red Candy joins the top flight with Call Bros. He races into third. Back from there, it's Strike the Top. It's a length and a half to Auburn Hills. Gap of two, South Point Drive saving ground toward the rail. On his outside goes Indian Counselor, then up the rail and Anaf. Second last is Alejandro's team, and the gray reliability is last of the 11 as they complete the opening quarter. Into the back stretch they go with Palace Kitten on top three parts of length. Art Red Candy is second, Cole Bros three wide third. Bee Catcher is traveling well at this stage, racing in fourth with Strike the Top just to his outside. Then it's a length and a half back to the fence and South Point Drive, Auburn Hills in the two path. Length and a half more, that's Indian Counselor. He lingers about eight or nine lengths behind. Reliability improves outside of Anaf and Alejandro's team shuffled the last. 47 and four for the opening half mile inside half a mile from home. Palace Kitten handled aggressively throughout and maintains a neck advantage. Hard Red Candy draws up alongside second. Cole Bros, three wide on the outside third. Bee Catcher is there fourth up on the far outside. Auburn Hills gets started. Strike the top got held up in traffic. Reliability is underway from the back. Many chances here after three quarters and 111 and one. Lionel Reyes working overtime on Palace Kitten and he still holds a narrow lead. Hard Red Candy right alongside. Into the clear comes Bee Catcher. 
Becatcher. He's got the fresh legs. He's loose and charging. Eighth of a mile to go. And here's Becatcher on to take over for Miguel Vasquez. Palace Kitten is game. Battling back toward the inside. Then reliability and hard red candy. But Becatcher's a winner. Becatcher going away at two to one. Reliability's up for second. Then it was Palace Kitten third. Close after that, I think it's hard red candy in a picture over Indian Counselor. 140 and two. And that wraps up Thursday's action. What a weekend at Gulfstream Park coming up. It is Pegasus weekend. And on Friday, great action. We have the Stronic 5 with a $97,000 plus carryover in the Stronic 5. Boy, they'll be betting that. And also on Friday, you can wager on all the Pegasus races from Saturday. So lots of action going on. And of course, Saturday, the $1 million Pegasus turf and the $3 million Pegasus World Cup. So stay tuned to Gulfstream Park all weekend long. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. I've been working all day. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. What do you say? Hit the hay. 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 Well, I'm tired. Let me tell you, Jack. I'm so tired. 